Are you looking for an app that's like a bullet journal, but it's digital? Hi, I'm Charlotte from Keep Productive. I focus on mindful productivity tools, and today we are looking at Zinnia. Zinnia is a creative journaling application that allows you to explore your creativity and create a bullet journal digitally. The benefit of having a digital bullet journal is that you can access it anywhere. It's easier to add photos. You can still use all the things that you might want to put in a physical journal like stickers or washi tape. Everything is inside this app. Zinnia also links to your calendar on your device. So if you type in something in your journal, it will sync it to your calendar. Like I said, Zinnia has all of the crafty things that you might want to use in physical bullet journal, but they're all digital. So you can still use stickers and washi tape and sticky notes. You can still draw, you can still type. You can also customize the front of your bullet journal and you can have as many journals you want. And you can pretty much create anything. You don't necessarily have to create a bullet journal. You can use different templates that are already set or you can just start from scratch and just create yourself like a spreadsheet, a Kanban board, whatever you want. Let's take a look at some key features of Zinnia. First, we have the journals. Zinnia allows you to use pre-made journals or create your own from scratch. This is a totally creative experience and it is really fun. You can either draw or type inside your journal. Now, Zinnia is available on iPad, on Mac and on iPhone. I tested this out on my iPhone, although I think you'll probably get a better experience if you use an iPad because it's a bigger space. You've probably got yourself an Apple Pen and it will just be more enjoyable with a bigger screen, I think. Like I've already mentioned, the app syncs to your calendar and I just think this extends the experience of a digital bullet journal. Obviously with a physical bullet journal, it doesn't link directly to your calendar on your mobile phone. Whereas if you type in a date inside your journal, it will show up and you can add it to your calendar. So inside the studio, you have all sorts of things, all the stickers, all the tape, the sticky notes, the pens, everything that you need to fully explore your creativity. Finally, you can export, you can share, and you can print out your journal. All you have to do is simply download the journal as a PDF and you can share it to somebody else or you can print it for yourself. So who is Zinnia best for now? I 100% think this app is great for anybody who wants to take their journal in that little bit further and use all the creative things like stickers and different colors and all of that stuff. If you're looking for a completely customizable and creative journaling experience on your device, then Zinnia is perfect for that. In terms of value, the price per month is £10 and I think per year £40. So of course, if you decide that you love it, maybe the year subscription is Kind of a little bit more cost effective now with the free version of the app of course you can still have access to three journals i think it is you can't create an unlimited amount and of course there are aspects of the app that are locked the premium versions you just can't obviously access with the free version however if you want to fully dive into this whole experience and really create a bullet journal with everything that you need inside the app then i think it's probably worth it to upgrade to the premium version However, for me, I just personally think maybe I wouldn't use like stickers and washi tape and all of that stuff because that will not boost my own productivity because I will then just spend too long trying to make my pages look pretty. But if that's what you want to do, then this app is perfect for that. So I think that Zinnia is perfect for replacing the need for a physical bullet journal. And it's perfect for anybody, like I said, who wants to explore that creativity. However, for me, I think maybe all of these different little bits and bobs that you can add in is probably a little bit too much. I much prefer on my phone to have a very simple guided journaling experience that I can just do and finish. Whereas maybe if I wanted to be a little bit more creative, I would just stick with a physical notebook, you know, and cut out pictures and stick it in. It just kind of feels a bit more immersive that way. Saying that, I did enjoy playing around with the different templates, using the different stickers, drawing, typing on here. However, I just don't think it's something that I will probably use that often. I would love to know if you use this app or if you're gonna try this app, so let me know. And I'll see you next time with another mindfulness app.